I now know that the most common type of fistula is the vesico fistula, vaginal fistula, which in which most in in which the woman's vagina is connected to the urinary bladder. This causes leakage of urine from the vagina and results in frequent vaginal and bladder infections. K and H being the largest VVF repair center in the country receives over 400 VVF related cases each year. They are made to understand is almost half of 1,000 VVF cases which are reported in the country every single year. Why did this woman die? They are dying because they are not educated about the need of sick, of to seek antenatal care during pregnancy and to deliver in health facilities with skilled assistance. They die because the health centers are too far and there is no transport to take them where they, when their labor is too long, long leading them to the conditions like fistula. Freedom from Fistula Foundation, or 3Fs as we are called, is a Scottish charity that was started in the year 2008 in Scotland and launched in Kenya in the year 2009. Our vision is to ensure that all women in Africa have access to health care during pregnancy and birth and to eradicate obstetric fistula. The theme for this year's VVF camp is capacity building for VVF care in Kenya. And this is perfectly aligned with the purpose of AMREF outreach program, which we hope to work with the ministries of health to strengthen the health care systems in essential health care services, including VVF. The ministry has also distributed 500 fistula sets to all the regions and we have a training curriculum for fistula repair and with support from partners we have trained surgeons including outside the country so that they are able to repair the fistula and also the nurses. It is indeed a pleasure to see that the fight against VVF is gaining momentum within with the increased partnership from individuals, private institutions, non-governmental organizations such as AMRA, Freedom from Fistula, and the Media Fraternity. This campaign is a call not only to those who are suffering, but also members of the society who may know a woman suffering from this terrible condition to share information that this problem can be corrected at no cost. Let us join hands to help these women restore their dignity, to lift their spirits and bring joy back into their lives. We become better people when we look out for one another and we are blessed when we embrace the notion of being our brothers and sisters. <laughs>